Hello, I'm Diana, and in this video, I'm going to actually show you a preview of some of the, a lot of the envelopes that I've made. A lot of them are different colors, of course, uh, and a lot of them are the same because, you know, I intend to list all of these on Etsy. These are ones I don't have listed yet, so um, quite a few ones I just made and ones I, you know, a lot of these ones that have single colors like this one, the one I just did. So I do the single colors so I can do demos on them or just little drawing videos. And um, anyway, so if you hear a snorting, that's my pug, Jack. And uh, Jack's a big part of the family right now. He has discovered YouTube and he is in love with the TV show or the YouTube show, pa, uh, That Pug Pablo. And so he thinks every time I um, have the computer turned on that I'm watching That Pug Pablo without him. Here's another one. So I'm going to start going through them pretty quickly so you can see. I do different sizes. This one. I made, I just plan to laminate it and um, use it, I guess, maybe as a cover of a booklet I was watching on YouTube, that there was a, a woman who did a demonstration on how to use, um, I guess, these envelopes and to make up booklets, and I thought that was really cool. So, anyway, that's a full cover. So, I'm just going to go through them, let you see them. We'll pause a little bit. Some of them are not as full as others. I just, I felt like, you know, I, I could always go back and add more. I'm not sure before I list them on Etsy. So I'm hoping that I'm showing them in the right spot. Let me, let me double check. Yeah, it looks, it looks decent. I'll yeah, that looks good. Okay. So here I have a bunch of orange ones. I did, I don't know, 10 orange ones. There goes the dog. Our dog is, uh, gosh, considering that he's an outdoor animal, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he doesn't live outdoors, that's for sure. Pugs should never be an outdoor dog um, because they have issues with breathing. And uh, you don't, and so because of their breathing issues, you don't, you, because of their little snub noses, you definitely don't want to leave them outside in heat. And in Texas, there's heat. So anyway, our dog has an issue with birds and he also takes issue with cicadas, also known as chicharras. And um, he just cannot stand them. So if he hears a, a bird on TV or if he hears a cicada through the window or anything, he will just go nuts and he will go flying out to the backyard. Okay, so we're on the greens. And this little odd little flower there. Didn't really do that one very often. I was just in the mood, I guess. So I bought these uh, bright envelopes. These are Astro Bright envelopes from um, Staples. And they're the larger sized envelopes. They're, I guess they, you could um, put newsletters or little booklets or whatever in them. But, you know, the, the envelope itself feels like a regular Astro Bright astro bright what 24 pound envelope so nothing really smooth nothing i mean it's smooth but it's just not 
the fancy fancy envelopes like my uh, paper studio envelopes that I buy from Hobby Lobby. Those are a nice uh, smoother feel to the envelope. I only have a couple red because um, most people don't realize this, but um, some colorblind people, and I'm mildly, I'm shade blind, kind of mildly shade, shade blind. So what I mean is the red is, uh, the black lines are hard to see on the red because they're both darker. So if I had a lighter envelope with a darker um, marker or pen, then it's much easier for me to see. So I made the um, I bought these red ones because it was Valentine's Day and I was in a red and pink mood and so I love Valentine's Day. It's my absolute favorite holiday. Um, of course Christmas and Easter, but um, but Valentine's Day, I just all the cute decorations come out, all the pinks and the reds and I love it and I eat it up. So anyway, so I went pink and red for a while. And uh, you'll notice that my ruler, one of my rulers is pink, and only two of my rulers are pink. So, <laughs> anyway, so I have a thing for pink and red. But these red ones are hard, like I said, the red is considered like a medium color, and the black is a dark. So medium and dark are hard to see together. So I can't, my eyes can't enjoy it as much as some people. Now this hot pink, I can enjoy this. This is Astro Bright, and um, this hot pink is uh, kind of unique to that to that um, line of paper. So Astro Bright. This one probably I'll probably fill in a little bit more. This one has um, chrysanthemums in them, and I don't really do chrysanthemums very much, um, just because they just. I guess this is kind of a chrysanthemum feel, mum kind of feel, but these are more bunched up the tight marigold kind of, I guess it's marigold kind of look. Don't usually do those very often. Here's the odd red one. <laughs> Got mixed up. Okay, now this one uh, that I'm about to show you is like a um, purpley blue, rich blue. And so I have the same problem as I do with the red. This is a medium color paper and I'm using dark pen. I mean, I can draw on it. It's just my eyes don't enjoy it as much as it does the bright colors. I won't speed this one up because I feel like it'll just take away from the images and even though I'm not exciting <laughs> so um, yeah, I love the flowers the the roses on this one I really I went to town on the roses yeah, a bunch of roses When I list these on Etsy, I usually list them in a set of 10 or six. Um, if you have a better suggestion, let me know. I'm gonna go back and fill some of these in. Some of these look like they could use a little bit more. This is a light pink 
um, kind of hot pink, but lighter shade of it. It's a pink, bright pink, but I bought this envelope on um, Amazon, and I believe it's jam paper. Jam. J-A-M. <laughs> I bought, um, I ordered that extra large one. This is, um, beautiful color, but this envelope is just so large. I can't use the envelope mailers I bought for it. I don't know what I was thinking when I ordered it. Yeah, some of these I'll just have to go back and touch up a little bit. Because yeah, I could absolutely put some more in here. Or in here. You know, if you've been following my videos, there's uh, in my pastel lavender video, um, you'll hear that I've actually been, that I've suffered from back injury, a back injury, and that I had surgery. And sometimes when you're in pain, your brain doesn't focus like, uh, like it normally would. So some of these you can tell I may be in pain when I'm doing them. <laughs> I'm just trying to focus on something other than, you know, medicine or, or what my pain is like. So <laughs> these are my craft paper envelopes. I bought these from, um, Hobby Lobby also. These are nice, sturdy at, uh, craft paper, and um, these are Paper Studio also. I bought a big set of these craft papers. I don't know, 50 of them? And so I just... I went to town on them. I just sat down and just drew and drew and drew. That's my dog saying, please, please let me watch Pablo. And Stanley and Winston. Yeah, that's a cute channel. Cute, cute, cute. And my dog, I see... All of their all of their pugs look the same, but they're all different ages. <laughs> so I just think it's so cute because um, I see I see my son my my dog Jack in them. I see Jack and Jack sees Jack and Jack wants a baby pug. Yeah, that's what he wants. He gets along with pugs really well. Other dogs drive him nuts, or they drive him nuts, or he drives them nuts. But pugs. For some reason, he gets along great with other pugs. They understand him, I guess. What are you doing, Jack? Got excited when I said that. He's like, Pablo, YouTube? Can we watch YouTube? Oh my gosh. <laughs> you hear him? I don't know if you can hear him. He sounds like he's, he's like a mini Darth Vader. <laughs> sounds like he's on a respirator. My sister and my cousin are fascinated with Jack. He will make, we will, we do a Google Hangout or a Facebook Messenger Hangout um, on Sundays. And he likes to make an appearance. He's like, who's on the computer? Is it my TV show? I call it his soap opera. Is it my soap opera? And um, so he wants to see, so... He's, he, he sticks his face up there and, and they just, 
they go gaga over him because he's so cute. I know I have a lot of these craft papers. Like, like, like I said, I did 50 of them. So, and if you watch my videos, you know it takes time to make these. I did like these craft paper ones. They add a little bit of rusticness to it, and I did enjoy that very much. And fast, that reminds me, there's a there's a vendor in town who who might actually be interested in some of these. I might I might see if they would carry some of these. And I could put them in. I have the, I have some on Etsy already. It's just okay. So these are white. These are slick. Uh, or these are soft white, um, crisp white envelope. This is also from Paper Studio, and it's a heavier feel. Um, what quilters call a hand. I'm a quilter also, and so. The hand, the feel of this envelope is so smooth and so just luscious. It's just, I don't know, I just think it's very smooth. That uh, it's so smooth that it points. I was afraid that my ink would smudge, but it did such a great job. So, writing on this with um, my Sharpie, this Sharpie pen. Um, this is the new Sharpie pen. I'm not uh the biggest fan yet i will be because that's the one i'm using all the time right now um i have when sharpie had the old version out i bought as many as i could i wish i had bought more Okay, I'm done to my last two. These are um, just a strip seal. So, and this is called, I guess this color is called, um, it's kind of a tealy, teal color also, light teal. But I bought these on Amazon and I think they called them sea glass. But I don't, I think they're a little darker a little dark to be considered sea glass, but you know, whatever. I think it's more of a teal, light teal, like a Tiffany blue, uh, Robin's egg blue, kind of muted teal. Anyway, so that's my video of all the envelopes I have so far. I'm sure I have some more laying around somewhere, but um, thank you so much for watching and. I hope that you come back, you leave me a comment, you like, subscribe. I try to put out videos um, every couple of days if I can, if the pain level lets me. And uh, some days I get more videos out than I expect. So, um, oh, that's my husband texting. I will see you guys later. Bye.